Uh, so good evening and welcome to my new tutorial uh, on relative motion analysis for finding the velocity of a specific element in a moving mechanism. Uh, this example is a fundamental problem, 16-10 uh, in Hebler's book, uh, 13th edition. Uh, in your class notes, this is in lecture 15, uh, on example 3 on page 6. So, uh, in this case, we are going to deal with a problem involving a crank which rotates at uh, 12 rad per second um, counterclockwise. And uh, it is required to find the velocity of piston B uh, and also the angular velocity of rod uh, A, B uh, when, when uh, theta here is equal to 30 at the instant shown. At this, look, at, at this moment. So we can start with the fundamental equation that relates the velocities together at different points. So we can start from this. We can say um, uh, v, uh, VA equals to uh, VO plus omega uh, o of, 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 of the crank OA in, uh, in a vector form, of course, uh, cross product the, um, the R uh, a with respect to O. So this is the fundamental problem that we, the fundamental equation that we should start with. Uh, this is the description. Uh, so we start with the VO. We can notice that at point O it is fixed. So the velocity of VO is equal to zero because this is as you can see it's fixed. It doesn't move. Now with respect to the uh, we can we can deal with uh, omega OA, it was already given that it rotates counterclockwise uh, 12 rad per second, so we can say uh, omega OA is equal to 12 uh, K positive K because it's counterclockwise uh, for the R uh, for the RA with respect to O uh, you can see it is um, a vector uh, which starts from which starts from O and ends at A. So you can you can you can go and see here the the vector um, R A with respect to O and it equals to 0.3 and it is going upwards. It is going in the in the in the positive direction of Y. So this is 0.3 positive J. Um, equals to 0.3 J okay so we can now calculate for the VA so for the VA here it, it is equal to VA um, equals to 0 plus 12 K cross product 0.3 J now <coughs> this is this is should be equal to 12 times 0.3 would give us 3.6 and K cross product with J would give us minus I and this should be equal to minus 3.6 I so this is the velocity of A in vectorial form and in other words it is going to the left because this is minus I it is going in the negative direction of X uh, at the rate of 3.6 meters per second so you can represent the the direction of the velocity of um, of a as in this way so you can say this is this is va because and it's going in the negative direction of x so it is minus 3.6 i so this is this is the velocity of uh, uh, L, uh, 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 point a now we want to find uh, the velocity of point B. We can also, in the same way, relate the velocity of B to A in the same way. Uh, I'm going to a new page and say, okay, um, VB here is equal to VA plus uh, omega PA, BA, I'm sorry cross product R B with respect to A uh, 
considering this, it is a, a VA, we know it already, we have calculated it already. Uh, omega BA, we don't know it, but we don't, we know, we, but we know this vector. It starts from A and, and, it, and, and it ends at B. And we can make it clear for us in this way. You can say, okay, this uh, vector uh, starts So we can say this is a vector which starts from A and in it's at B and it involves 0.6 and this vector is in fact uh, need to be resolved in the X and Y directions. Um, so in the X direction we can draw um, the uh, the vector to be in this way so this is the x direction of the vector and it should uh, give us the y direction so this is the uh, the y component of the rba this is the y component and this is the x component now this is 30 degrees of course and this component is equal to uh, 0.6 cosine 30 and this component is equal to 0.6 sine 30 and we can say okay R B with respect to A is equal to uh, 0.6 cosine 30 cosine 30 and because it's going in the positive direction of x, it should be given plus i, right? And uh, the y component is going down, should, should be given minus j. So I'm gonna write this now, uh, 0.6 sine 30. So this is minus, this is minus j, right? Um, now, solving this would give us would give us R B with respect to A. Uh, this value, this, uh, this, the, the, this, this values um, point two I uh, minus point three J. So this is the vector R B with respect to uh, with respect to A. This is this is uh, the vector that starts from A and ends B in this way. So it has the x component and the y component. Now we need to solve this problem. We need to find VB uh, in its vectorial form. So, but before we move on, um, we can consider uh, the VB. Yes, we don't know its value, but we know its direction. VB is, of course, for sure, is uh, going uh, is going up actually. So the piston here is going up. Because uh, the crank here is rotating uh, counterclockwise, it would elevate this uh, component and in turn would elevate this piston to go up. So uh, VB is equal to VB uh, in value, uh, which we don't know, but the direction is well known. It's positive J. It's positive J. So, we're going to take now this equation and substitute the values that we know and say, okay, uh, VB now is equal to VA, which we already calculated in the previous page, uh, minus 3.6i plus omega, omega B uh, A K. This is in positive k because uh, this b, uh, this bar, is uh, rotating uh, counterclockwise, so it is k. It's not minus k, and this is uh, in a cross product with the R B with respect to a. This is uh, 0.52 i minus 0.3 j. All right. Now. We, go, we, go, we are going to deal with this and say, okay, V 
VB already equals to VBJ, uh, and this is equal to minus 3.6I, and we're gonna be we're gonna multiply this with this and multiply this with that. Um, I'm gonna say omega BA times 0.52 K times I would give us J, of course, and we are going to say uh, plus uh, multiplying this omega. BA times minus 0.3 multiplying K with J would give us minus I okay. so this is the value this is this is the thing that we are now develop, developing from uh, this uh, relation and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move forward with the VBJ equals to minus 3.6 I and this uh, would give us uh, 0.52 omega B A J um, minus and my, this would cancel out and then this would give us uh, plus um, 0.3 omega B A I right so this is the relationship that now we uh, that would describe the velocity of the of, of piston B so uh, I'm going to uh, de deal with this further to give us VB J to equal to be equal to minus uh, uh, minus 3.6 plus 0.3 Omega B A taking this and this I plus uh, 0.52 Omega B A J so this is the velocity of piston B. Uh, going now to another page. So regarding VB, we already know that it has no component in I. I mean the velocity here in, in J direction when it goes up, it doesn't it doesn't move to in the I direction. So we can uh, write this uh, to say zero I plus uh, VBJ to be equal to uh, minus 3.6 plus uh, 0.3 omega BA um, I uh, plus uh, 0.52 omega BAJ now we can now solve this equation taking zero to be equal to this term taking VB to be equal to this term so we can say zero equal to minus 3.6 plus point point okay point uh, three Omega BA and solving this would give us uh, Omega B, BA to be equal to 12 rods 12 rod per second uh, that's what we want uh, the we want this we want to know the rotation the angular rotation the angular velocity of this beam AB of this bar and um, VB now is going to equal to uh, 0.52 omega B so VB is equal to um, 0.52 omega B A and VB would be equal to 0.52 times 12 and this would give us 6.24 meters per second now VB has now a value and of course this is the velocity of the piston and of course we can say VB in a vector form is equal to 6.24 J Thank you for watching.